Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a 10-minute talk with Terrence. Uh, man, y'all know how Wednesdays are. So, for the next one more week, one more week, you guys. Check this out. This is 10-minute talk with Terrence. I got a Terrence here Smith. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Again, thanks, everyone, for who is always uh, sending me emails or texts and uh, messenger me on different topics they want to hear about, things they want to do. I really do appreciate it. Please keep me coming. Don't ever feel like, you know, I get tired or things are being said that I'm not listening or paying attention to. Because trust me, we all we all in this together. We all in this fight. And we're going to fight the good fight to fight. We have the election and everything. I hope everybody stepped up and went out and voted. If you didn't, make sure you get yourself situated. And uh, let's just start doing what we need to do, you know, as a Christ-like people. And, uh, you know, don't worry about who voted for who, who didn't vote for this person, this person. You know, that's their own personal privacy. What I want to talk about today is uh, selective listening, you know, and why is it a prom Why is this so pro problematic? You know, and that word is <laughs> a trip. Uh, just really uh, just be more attentive to people. Uh, we have to be aware of what we say, who we say, and who we say it to. We have to understand, too, that, you know, we, we got to understand this is a serious time right now in everyone's life. And we have to encourage ourselves sometimes. And there are sometimes we want to call people and, you know, and I, and I put out a charge last week to call people, three to five people. I thank God for those who stepped up and did call some people and encourage some people. Matter of fact, I heard back from a lot of people that some people did call and and we was on a oneness, you know, and we have to look at that, you know, that you never know what another person is going through. And we have to also be mindful that that God is always listening and we are to be Christ like. So to, to go back to the topic, what is selective listening? Selective listening is basically to me or selective attention is this called a phenomenon that occurs when we only see what we want to see and hear what we want to hear. You know, a lot of times we get that so confusing. It's a type of mental filtering in which we tune out someone's opinion or ideas that they don't line up with ours. You know, you know, we can become very selfish. That's a very selfish thinking. Um I could say strongly on that because I've been that purple person. Sometimes I can have selfish thinking. I I think about what I got to say is more important than what someone else got to say. And that's not always true. You know, sometimes people call you to get encouraged, to be, you know, to be lifted up or they're going having a bad day, you know, and they just need someone. They know that you bring a good certain energy. You know, you bring that positive vibe and you've always positive. You know, you never have your down moments. But it does have that type of mentality is a person that have learned how to prioritize their emotions. Me, I have learned to and still learning to prioritize my emotions and not when I go to work, I have to make sure I'm in the mind frame because I work in mental health that it's not about me. You know, I'm here to help and give uh, encouragement or to uplift someone's spirit who's having different type of thoughts or having some mental illness thoughts and, and we have to be mindful of that too that we don't bring our problems from home or everywhere else to work or anywhere else or you know and then they say when we go to church every time yeah they said the bible said cast all that care upon he wants your care so pass if you have an issue then yeah take it to god take it to church you know, and everything, and then lay it at the altar, but then leave it there. A lot of times we take things we carry more than we casting. You know, uh, uh, Minister Nash said that one time, and that meant a lot because we carry so much drama and information and, you know, negativity, and we, we, you know, we, we carry it, and then we blame it on someone else. You know, then we take it out on someone else, and they ain't had nothing to do with it. We have to be mindful of our, our attention, our mindful, our selective thinking, our selective hearing, and we need, to be, we need to be more active listening. You know, we need to listen more. You know, my mom tell me all the time. And I, because I was a victim of it, so it's a very familiar spirit with me. She always say, you need to listen twice as much as you talk. You know, I say it a lot because a lot of people I'm watching, I listen, I'm, way, I'm listening more and I'm learning more. And I'm learning people, I'm learning their behavior. I'm learning when to talk, when to listen, you know, when to get in. You know, and I always have to remember that we, we have to remember that we are everyone's. Sometimes we're the light in other people's darkness and people are watching our lives. They watch the way we live. They watch what we say. They watch how we react to certain situations, how we didn't deal with certain problems that comes our way. 
And we have to be mindful that there are people out there that are really dealing with and struggling with things. And we have to make, make sure that we're in the proper position to be that light in their darkness. Amen. Amen. So the, some things I wrote down say, here are the five steps of active listening. Because I want to help you become an active listener. Because right now, there are some people, they just need you just to listen. They need to vent. Allow people to vent. The first thing is acting. the process of five stages is receiving, understanding, evaluating and remembering and responding you know because when, when you're receiving someone's information you got to make sure you're listening eye contact is perfect body language eye contact put down the phone matter of fact turn your phone when someone's calling to talk to you when someone calls you and talk to you that's the last thing they need okay they want to make sure that you're listening you're not interrupting you're not jumping to your conversation and then understanding what they're trying to say See, I understand, you know, just, just evaluate, kind of, and then evaluate the situation, process what they're trying to say to you. Because then they came to you because they feel that you can help them or pray with them, okay? And then, and then remembering, how do I say, remembering what they're saying, remember the word that got them there, go to the core of the situation, okay? And now you're responding, your deliverance basically on what they're saying, okay? Because sometimes you really listen long enough to what people have to say, they really solve their own problems. You would be surprised. People solve their own problems sometimes when you just listen to what they have to say. You know, active listening is very important, but some people have selective hearing. They want people to hear what, everything they want to say. They want to say what they want to say, but they don't want to listen to what other people have to say, and that's wrong. We have to become more active listening. We got to listen more. We got to know when to speak, when not to speak, know when to listen, and know when to follow direction and apply it to life. You know, and, you know, and I take this very seriously because me and my field and what I do, I have to listen. And I do a lot of listening. And people will tell you a lot about yourself if you listen long enough. And I'll tell you right now, just continue to stay focused on God. Be prayerful. Start your day off right with a good prayer on today. You know, and I and I talk to God first before I talk to anyone. And if someone that I'm talking to and I'm trying to relate to, that's the first thing I do. I start praying and say, hold on. Because people can transfer spirits. Amen. People transfer spirits. You have to be careful. When someone comes to me and they say, hey, I want to talk about something. First thing I start doing, I say, let's go in prayer. Let's start praying real quick. Because I don't want that spirit, what you're dealing with, to come off on me. And if I want to talk to someone, if I call one of my friends, I want to talk. The first thing, we're going to start off with prayer because I don't want the spirit that I'm dealing with go on them. So we have to be mindful. We have to be very selective with our listening, with our thinking, with our prayer life, and also, and why is this so problematic? You know, problematic means it's posing a problem or difficult to solve or decide. Okay, so we have to be mindful of all these things that we're not being a problem. We're being a solution to the help that someone else might need. Amen. I want us to be aware of all these things. And please, 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 please text me, email me, and there's some things I kind of want to go over on next week. Uh, but I think I want to see how the response is going this here because there's a lot of different ways and different levels of selective hearing, selective listening that a lot of times we take we take for granted or we really don't take the time to really dig into. Because right now we're in a point right now where we have to really be mindful of what we say and how we say and how we do things. Communication is is kind of getting divided right now because with we're thinking that being, if we can't really see each other, we can't touch each other at the communication level. Yeah, but sometimes it ain't what you say, it's how you say it and the time of when you say it. My mom said something to me a while back. She said, Terry, what you did, I would not have done it the way that you done it. It's like when you're talking to a friend and say, hey, man, you did something or something occurred. Now, I might not have done it like that. So you need to correct that because how you did it, it's not that being the right way of you communicated the situation or what you're going through or what you're dealing with. But you need to apologize and say, hey, I'm sorry. I handled it the wrong way. Forgive me. I'm sorry. And let's do better. It's all about moving forward. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I thank you. My time is up. I love you guys. Remember, selective listening, selective hearing. And remember, we have to communicate. We've got to communicate and delegate. Amen. God bless you. I love you. This is 10 Minute Talk with Terrence. Again, please send me a text, emails, uh, messenger me or whatever. Because I want to hear, I want to hear responses. I want to hear what you say, what you think. 
And if there's some other topics you want to think about, let me know because I dig into it. That's what I'm doing right now. This is my platform, and I want to use it wisely to make sure that we, we know that God is love. Amen. And I love you guys. Please continue to love on me and continue praying for me as I continue to go to this physical therapy. I got to go back in right now. God bless you. Remember, okay, let's breathe. Because someone told me, you didn't breathe last week. So we're going to breathe right now. Then, that was not right at all, was it? So I'm going to do it again. Man, don't that feel good? We have to learn to let go and let God. And remember, you always use as close to God as you choose to be. Because it ain't how you fall, baby. It's how you get back up. I love you. I love you, my sisters and my brothers. I love you, too. God bless you. Family, continue to keep the bears, the buyers family. Uh, my, my, my good friend, Dwayne, lost his father, him and Bev, and Paula and Chip. So continue to keep them in prayer. Continue to pray for Mom Jones already, for uh, my Auntie Jones and her family, the Cobbins family. Continue to pray for them and those that who've lost loved ones during this time. I love you. God bless you. Peace out. And yes, please call some more people. Let them know that you love them and care for them and pray for them. God bless you.